In this video, we're going to be using Python's turtle module to draw this repetitive circular pattern. Now that's easy enough to do, but there is one thing I want you to take away from this video, and that is how you can actually condense your code when you're working with the turtle library. Okay, so I'll show you what that means exactly. When you load up Python, just make a new file. And we're going to start off by writing something a little bit different today. Usually we start by writing import turtle, but we're going to change it to from turtle import star. So what that is saying is from the turtle library, we're going to import all the different functions in there. Okay, that's what that little star means. Okay, so coming down now, usually we would write something like turtle dot bg color and set the color to say black okay but in this case we don't need to write turtle dot anymore okay thanks to this first line up here we no longer have to write turtle dot before any of our functions okay so i'm just going to leave it as bg color and set it to black i'm also going to change the speed of the turtle to zero you can see i don't need to write turtle dot speed that's just speed dot, uh, speed zero now Alright, so we've set our page up, so that means when our window pops up, when we run our code, we've got a black background. And speed zero is just saying when we draw the circles, there'll be no animation, they should just appear on the page nice and quick. The next thing we're going to do is just going to lift our pen up on the page. Okay, so we'll run the pen up um, function, and we're going to run the go to function next. So we're going to go to a set of coordinates, and in this case it's going to be minus 200 on the x-axis and zero on the y-axis. Okay, so it's basically off to the left of the screen. Um, once we've done that, we're just going to put the pen back down. So run the pen down function, and that will put the turtle pen back on the paper, ready to start drawing the circles. Okay, to draw the circles, we're just going to use a loop, and it's going to be a for loop. So we're going to write for i in range 3, and then put a colon. So the code below, we're going to run three times. Okay, now we're going to do a nested loop here. That means we're going to do a loop inside of a loop. So the next loop we're doing is setting the colors of the circles that we draw on the page. So four colors in, and we're making a list of col whoops, a list of colors. So we need to use square brackets here. And we just make a list of colors that we would like to see our circles. So we've got red, magenta, as you can see, I'm putting these inside of quotation marks. Make sure you do the same. The comma goes outside of the quotation marks to separate each color. Okay, green, and then we've got yellow and white to finish off. When you're done, close your square bracket, and then I want you to do a colon. Okay, when you press enter, you'll see your mouse cursor will indent one more time because we're inside a second loop here now. And all we need to do now is just put in the color of the circles and actually draw the circle. So we're just writing color. Remember, we don't need to write turtle.color anymore. So color, that's the color of the circle. We're going to set it to each of the colors in this list here. So we just need to write this word here, colors. Okay. And what that is going to do, each time we draw a circle, it's just going to draw a red one, then a magenta one, then a blue, then a cyan. And it just runs through that list, and that's one repetition out of the way. Then we loop back up here, okay, and we go through and run it two more times until we get a total of three loops going on. Okay, before we go any further, what I might do is just change my pen size to three, and we've actually got to draw the circle. So we'll draw the circle with a 150 pixel radius, and we're going to move the circles forward 20 pixels each time we draw one. Okay, so that ought to do us. I'm going to save this up now. Um, what do we call it? Let's call it circular pattern. Let's spell circular right. There we go. Circular pattern. Click save. We'll press F5 to run it. And there it is. Okay, so a very simple tutorial there. As I said at the start, the main thing you need to take out of this is at the start here, you can see that we've changed the code. So from turtle import star, and you no longer need to write turtle dot before all of our functions.